Yo guys, what's up? Previously we talked about the Mark 1 tanks and today we conclude our journey through World War 1 with a video on submarine warfare. Even in the Great War, Germany used the infamous U-boats and over a period of 4 years they sank hundreds of enemy ships. By 1914 the British Royal Navy was a respected force even though Great Britain had established so many colonies. Sudan, South Africa, India, Japan, Australia, New Zealand, Canada and Newfoundland. Furthermore, the island had a very strategic location to dominate the oceans and massively outnumbered Kaiser Wilhelm's Reichsmarine. Now because Germany wasn't keen on losing battleships in naval duels with Great Britain, most of these ships were kept inside, so the U-boats were the perfect answer. Only 351 Unterseebooten were created, and only 217 of them would be destroyed by the end of the war. But even the most streamlined killer had flaws, because once the U-boat was submerged, it had absolute zero visibility. Blind as a mole, the boats had to come to the surface every time they needed to attack or find out their exact position. However, the 360 degree scope was unforgiving and by passing the correct coordinates to the crew, torpedoes were launched with pinpoint accuracy. Britain had already been made aware of that in August 1914, at the very beginning of the Great War, when a total of 10 German U-boats attacked and destroyed the HMS Monarch. In that very same month of August 1914, also the HMS Pathfinder met its demise and the Germans didn't stop there. By the end of 1914, the Royal Navy had lost 9 battleships already, so clearly the U-boats were dominating the North Sea. But that was not enough. In 1915, they started targeting commerce by sinking merchant ships and supply fleets. The British answered by setting up a blockade in the North Sea, but it had terrible consequences for Britain. Kaiser Wilhelm saw the blockade as an attack on German citizens who were denied supplies. He saw it as a shoot without warning tactic to send German people into starvation. This was not part of a gentleman's war. Infantry versus infantry was the deal, not targeting the German children. As a result of the blockade, the RMS Lusitania was attacked and destroyed on May 7, 1915 and saw many women and children die. A serious violation that was investigated by US President Woodrow Wilson. Kaiser Wilhelm claimed it was a mistake, an unfortunate error, but 1200 people had died in this attack carried out by U-20. Germany minimized it, but after one and a half month of investigating, USA confirmed Britain's claim and confirmed the German violation. On the 21st of July 1915, Kaiser Wilhelm received a first official warning from Wilson. Meanwhile, the U-boats were already helping out the Turks in Gallipoli, so the Mediterranean Sea became their second playground. And it didn't stop there. By 1916, the U-boats were everywhere. The Arctic Sea, the Atlantic Ocean, the Mediterranean Sea, they even saw the coast of South Africa. They were literally everywhere. By 1917, Kaiser Wilhelm gave the order of unrestricted submarine warfare, which ultimately caused USA and Japan to go into war as well. On April 6, 1917, USA joined the Allied entity with volunteers to fight a battle in France, but it would take another 19 months before submarine warfare was finally over. German persistence even caused U-boats to emerge on the east coast of USA at Nova Scotia and Chesapeake Bay. After the Middle East, the Arctic Sea 
and South Africa. They saw East USA. Can you imagine? Now, if you want to know more about this topic, just look up U-Boats World War I on Google for a detailed list of all used and destroyed ships. And like I already mentioned in a previous video, U-35 with Commander Lothar von Arno de la Perriere destroyed 224 merchant ships. Just one boat, 224 trophies. After the war was over, the German population had to swim or sink because of the terror of Versailles, a treaty that left Germany standing in the cold. The German battleships were stored in Scapa Flow naval base in Britain, but were destroyed on July 21st, 1919 by the Germans themselves. Thank you for watching. See you on the next one, guys. Peace.